Thank you, Lonely Whale, for uh, playing Valley Advocate Sessions today. Thank you really so much for having me. You. It was great. Yeah. Um, so first off, uh, can you tell me about uh, the band name, uh, what word it came from? came from as a, like a soul project name. Yeah, so um, I wish that I had a better language to talk about this, but essentially there is a whale somewhere out in an ocean that um, is sending out whale signals at a, a higher frequency than most other whales. So usually whales talk to each other with these different frequencies and that's how they find their tribes and they travel as a pack. And there's this one whale that has been charted by scientists at speaking at close to 52 hertz, which is unheard of for whales. Um, so they are tracking this whale and they just see it going all over the world kind of doing this call that no other whale is, is doing, so they dubbed it the loneliest whale in the world. Um, there's actually a number of foundations, the Lonely Whale Foundation, you can donate to them. They do research about whales and the lonely whale. I don't know that much about it. But That's so sad. I really relate to it. I feel like it's true of all of us. We're all speaking our own unique language and we're kind of looking for our tribe and you find the people that you click with. Um, up until this point, I feel like I've been a pretty lonely whale. <laughs> So uh, do you envision this as a, always being a solo project or um, do you want to expand uh, to have a band? I definitely want to expand. So I've been looking for new band members if anybody wants to play <laughs> instruments <laughs> with me. Um, but I've also been a singer-songwriter for a number of years, so I'm pretty comfortable being on my own. And uh, you released uh, uh, your first record a couple of years ago, I Dreamt I Was? Uh, yeah, I Dreamt I Was. So that was under the name Carson O'Keefe. My name is Carson, um, but I'm going by Lonely Whale now. But you can still find my album on Bandcamp. <laughs> are are, are uh, some of the songs you played today part, part of that record? or? Uh... Yeah, so the first song, In the Cave, is um, on that record, as well as the last song, Tidal Wave. The other two songs are pending. <laughs> I, I really like the the, uh, the entitled song or the, the work in progress title song uh, that you performed. Uh, can you, you tell us a little bit about that, that song? Sure. Um, so I uh, recently wrote that song and have been surprised at the response. I didn't think that it was really a song that other people would be interested in. Um, but it's actually about all the relationships that I've had over the course of my life from the time that I was a teenager until now with um, people much older than myself and some of those relationships. Um, just kind of reflecting and seeing the things that were beautiful, the things that were legitimate, and the things that were um, unprecedented and probably not right about such a relationship between an adult and a child. <laughs> so, um, moving forward in the future, uh, are, are you planning to uh, plan maybe play any shows at the end of the month, um, October or November? Um, yep, so October 13th, Friday the 13th actually, I'm playing a show at Luthier's Co-op. Um, and then I've got a couple other things coming up, uh, mostly in East Hampton, Mill 180, something at Bishop, so you should follow me on Facebook. <laughs> Are you planning to do any recording in the f uh, near future, like uh, like the next year? Yeah, I, r I really hope so. I would really like to release an album soon. It's uh, mostly about finding the right people because I'd like for there to be other instruments on that album. All right. Uh, anything else that you'd like to say about your music? I think that my music speaks to something unsung in people, and so I really hope that everyone who listened today felt some form of solidarity um, and maybe feel a little adventurous now to go out in the world and be vulnerable and loving with people that you don't know. Thanks for doing that with me today, guys. <laughs> No, I just have one last question. Uh, I kind of forgot. You mentioned uh, really like the Pixies earlier. Uh, we, we were talking. Yeah. And um, what what other bands do you like or solo artists are you really influenced by? That, that just like. Uh, so I would say Modest Mouse is a huge influence for me. Um, but when I look at my songwriting and I think about my origins as a songwriter, I think that so much of my influence comes from Bright Eyes, Iron and Wine, Bonnie Vare, other solo acoustic artists, because um, this electric adventure is brand new for me. And how did you get into that doing electric versus acoustic when you're pretty much doing? Um, I stuff? had a really great friend who encouraged me to do it and was kind enough to um, help provide me with some of the equipment. Cool. Well, thanks so much, um, Lonely Whale, for uh, playing the Valley Epic Sessions. Thank you. Thanks Pleasure so much, everyone. Thanks, Internet.